Hey friends, it's Ocean. Welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day so far. I miss you so much. I am physically squeezing you right now, giving you a really big, tight mama hug, sister hug, best friend. Like I really, really miss you. It's been a couple of days. I haven't went this long without posting in a really, really long time. I had a little break, you know, nice little refresher, and I will speak more on that later. But right now, what we're doing is giving the Dooleys a makeover. The Dooleys are from my limited family gameplay pack series that we have going on on the channel. We're almost done. We are almost done with it. I'm going to cap that series at 10 parts. So it's just me choosing what packs I love and what I think would make the perfect um, family gameplay experience, you know, without having to buy 87 plus DLCs. Yes, The Sims 4 has 87 DLCs. What? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, if you plan on buying any of those uh, Sims DLCs, any other Sims content on the EA app or the Sims.com, you can use my creator code Ocean Sims. All you have to do is type Ocean Sims in the promo code box. And by using my code, you are directly supporting me and our channel. And that allows me to keep creating content full time by providing a small commission of each sale. Thank you so much for those of you who have used my code already. I definitely see your support and me and my family thanks you for that. So yeah if you're gonna buy a dlc you might as well you know type in that code so uh, papa ea doesn't get every coin i'm kidding i don't i it's really no pressure but yeah 87 dlcs crazy right so i'm thinking out of all those dlcs i love family gameplay so which packs are gonna be perfect for me so so far we have the sims for growing together seasons outdoor retreat parenthood kids room stuff toddler stuff and i want to add the sims for high school years so that'll be seven dlcs in total to grant us that really really good good family gameplay that i love so much i am capping this series at 10 parts i don't know if i mentioned that already or probably did but i'm thinking to myself that's not so that's not too bad you know seven solid packs that i'm using to focus on family gameplay however can be used in a ton of different ways i wanted to add the sims for cats and dogs because obviously our furry friends are family right but the other features of the pack didn't quite mix in with the dooleys for right now and because i'm capping it at 10 parts and eh, i was thinking okay that's not something i i'll place over the sims for high school years considering joy is a teenager now and i don't really pay attention to teens uh in the sims 4 before the sims for high school years i oh man i could count the days i know a lot of people talk about toddlers they talk about you know even the infant life stage which i love by the way but teens were so uninteresting and the high school years pack um expansion does a great job in trying to bring that out i do think there are some things missing but things like the crush stage puberty the acne um and the clothing choices that we get with this pack uh, the sports the after school activities active high school which honestly if we're being honest i'm not looking forward to joy going to high school i mean we are going to visit our high school and do that but it's not fun it's really not fun i, I don't like active school anything i don't even like it uh like in the sims 3 i think what was it sims 3 university i don't like being in class with them like i'd rather ever that be a rabbit hole and i wish we could have did uh, the after school activities with our teens in the sims 4 in an active career type of thing rather than going to school with them because going to school with them is quite boring and you don't really have time to socialize and do what you think you need to do because of how time moves in the sims in the school day so eh, you know not looking forward to that but what i am looking forward to doing with joy is to you know work on you know just going on social bunny having her little um going to like a chess club or putting in her into some type of club her having her first crush and just having fun with her friends you know in copperdell and just getting some bubble tea things like that i'm excited for but yeah other than that teens i don't really pay any attention and speaking of teens joy here i wanted to make sure that she was dressed like a freshman you know i didn't really want her to look uh, like how I always think teens look they look like li many young adults you know and, and technically that is what a teenager is right I mean duh but some of the teens I can't tell if they are adults or not I'm like oh my gosh what in the world <laughs> so I wanted joy to kind of emulate this this freshness you know not the preteen stage not quite 
you know, senior in high school. And I think I did a really good job with that. She is probably my most favorite teen that I've ever created. I mean, she doesn't have that, um, that really fashionista type of style and she's not grunge or punk like I tend to do the same things with my teenagers but Joy here Joy is just throwing on a t-shirt her sneakers and some flare jeans uh, she dresses kind of modest and still wears tights under her dress and stuff like that and so I just really wanted I really wanted to have a different teen experience with Joy and I, I'm excited I'm excited to play that out and see where that takes us and and I love it um, but yeah, I almost forgot to record me doing this because this was on one of the nights where I just wanted to sim. I feel like I haven't actually been in game playing in so long. I haven't really touched the game gameplay wise. However, I have made a ton of sims and like a private save that I've been working on. If you want to see those sims, definitely follow my simbler, my tumbler. And also my Twitter, because that's where I like post little snapshots. I try not to fill the community tab up with too much because I know that's more of like, you know, just posts that I want everyone to know about and just important things. I don't want to flood it too much. I don't want to flood your, your, your YouTube feed too much, but I do, um, I have been in creative sim and I love creating sims and kind of developing this new or enhancing the style that I already have and making this kind of like realistic world and the sims that I've made for it they actually are basically no cc only that well no 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 their clothing isn't cc because I realized I think the one thing I can change up hairs but I hate if you go into a save and like their clothing is missing oh that's a big headache so I'm also on my minimal cc path I don't have a lot of cc in my main save and I actually removed my entire build folder and I'll slowly start replenishing things but i'm kind of starting it over because i love a clean game it is just so so refreshing when you know you don't have a ton of stuff and you can figure out like what's causing what and with new things coming out in the sims 4 i do not want to have a a game with a ton of mods and cc anyway so yeah things are about to look a little different these days we're going back to og ocean <laughs> but that's okay that's all right um, and speaking of myself, yeah, back to, to me not posting and forever, I really, really needed a break. I was really consistent and I am so proud of myself for doing that. I know a lot of creators talk about burnout and stuff like that. And it's easy to kind of throw that burnout label and think, oh, I'm feeling this way. So it's burnout. But I, I love the Sims. I'm not really bored of it. Um, and I love to, you know, create, but it was almost like I was, if, if I was burnt out of anything, it was just from just the day-to-day -day grind of, of recording and making a thumbnail and editing a video, I guess, but never really the game itself. And so I really, really needed a break. I love just not doing anything. I didn't, I haven't done anything. I mean last weekend or the weekend that just passed I mean we had like family events and functions and it felt good to spend time with family and not feel guilty about anything you know it felt good to spend time with my kids and not think about what I was going to post the next day you know and it's their summer so I'm just really really thankful that I can just be present and be there and I'm I can't just post anything up here you know anymore everything I post I, it has to mean something it has to be something I love it has to be something that I really that I think you'd like I've just been chilling and my husband too you know obviously my husband works a full-time job and he has a YouTube channel that he keeps up with himself as well and he's also he also kind of took a break with me and we kind of just lived life and that felt really great to do that you know just wake up not have any plans just doing random things and that just felt really good to do so I'm gonna have more days like that and I I obviously you know I, I pride myself on being consistent you probably will hear my kids in a couple of these videos in the background because I'm a mom and so I'm like yeah you know what I gotta do what I gotta do but I, this this whole rant and ramble is to encourage you to do the same just wake up and do nothing I've even told my own kids, hey, get off YouTube because they, I, I, I am that mom. I, they cannot have a free for all on their phone and on the game. I refuse. I refuse. This generation, we're just too much in our phones and on social media. 
And when people say touch grass, like people make that that joke, like, oh, you need to touch grass. It's very true. A lot of people need to touch grass. And so just getting out there in nature and, and experiencing life outside the screens, it's so good for you. So even if you can't watch my video right now and you have to watch it two weeks from now, thank you. You know, I want all of you to take care of yourselves first and foremost. And so, yeah, the fact that we're all here today. <laughs> and you're watching this video thank you but do something different i really encourage that that that's my only thing everything i have to do has to be a purpose to where i feel guilty sometimes being so consistent on youtube yes it benefits me but if it makes you have to tune into my video all the time no don't do that don't apologize for being late on a video don't apologize because you weren't first don't apologize because you missed that video and you forgot what happened in the last episode girl who cares who cares who cares <laughs> do you live your life and i will always be here i'll always be here for you um until i can't anymore but let's talk about bruce real quick and i'm mad because i just bypassed my girl my girl jill i got real comfortable when jill came on and i started venting about life i'm just staring at her pretty face did y'all see the grays in her hair i did get she did get a little older and i didn't change too much about her jill's perfect i'm sorry she's honestly so perfect and i didn't I didn't want to change too much about her and I loved her outfits. So I only changed just a couple of things. But Bruce here, his hair is a little a little longer. He's got, you know, the the good old 80s glasses going on. My mom and my dad both sported big glasses like these and I was absolutely obsessed with that look. But Bruce, I wanted to bring him down. You know, Bruce works in corporate samarica i'm kidding i don't even know if like what country whatever wherever he lives but he works in a corporate type of job and he's so opposite from his brother that i really wanted to show you know maybe now in life bruce is just relaxing he doesn't want to do this we may even quit our business job he doesn't want to do it he wants a simple life he got the big house he got the wife the children and you know last last part they were fighting and everything we're going to talk about that in the next episode everything's all, everything will be all right i think everything will be all right but like you all said that we had a stressful camping trip i mean who takes their kid camping for their birthday with a sleepover that's kind of stressful but i i wanted to show that bruce is bruce needed to find himself and no he never went through a midlife crisis like jill but that doesn't mean that internally he didn't feel like he needed to change you know isn't that funny how jill went through that but he didn't so we're gonna have a lot of fun in that next episode and i hope you all enjoyed this so far getting to catch up with me and me getting to catch up with you i hope you've been well if you've done anything cool this month or you have any plans drop them down below we're all just random strangers on the internet so hey if you're going camping next week like the doolies like just say it just say hey this is what i'm doing if you don't have anyone to share your the good like the good news in your life just share it like who cares you know i think it's so nice someone said like we have a really good space and community here in the comment section just the vibe the vibe on this that's why sometimes i say our channel instead of my channel because i feel like i couldn't do this without you so let's do that and here jill as you can see i'm adding another outfit and another hot weather outfit but she doesn't need much isn't she just gorgeous i love her hair i'm not ready to let it go i was gonna let it grow out but there wasn't a good enough hairstyle that wasn't you know cc for my girl jill here and i don't have all the, the other packs so i just i love this hair it's staying so i hope you enjoyed this if you did please do not forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video and yeah thank you all for watching all right peace out